What's good, y'all? It's Big Gucci pimping back on the scene. You already know what it is. Today, I'm reacting to some basketball highlights. I know I haven't reacted to any basketball highlights, but I do love basketball. I just, I'm a huge Paul George fan. Like, that's my favorite player. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, whatever team he's on, that's my favorite team. I'm not even gonna act like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna act like it's nothing else. Whatever team he's on, that's my favorite team. Right now, I'm a big Clippers fan, right? But he's been injured for most of the season, so I haven't done a lot of basketball videos because that is really what motivates me to watch basketball like i love paul george with that being said i decided that i wanted to start like a basketball series like a a basketball a basketball series yeah i don't know why like i wanted to start a series for reacting to basketball highlights and pretty much my goal here is that don't get me wrong i want to watch you know a lot of players and all the players and the good players and stuff but mainly i want to focus on older players you know what i'm saying like historical players you know what i'm saying more players that we don't get to see as much now nowadays i feel like a lot of people make assumptions off of these players based on their stats rather than their actual gameplay you know what i'm saying i remember watching charles barkley i realized after watching him like he would have easily been one of my favorite players to watch uh, i enjoyed the way he played basketball i really did I thought he was pretty all around i i liked that he could dribble he could shoot he could take it to the rack like he was a very exciting player to watch so with that being said i decided i would watch a lot more of the older players that i'm interested in but have never you know fully explored you know um in depth and with that being said today i thought i would start with one of my favorite players historically i've only seen like a little bit of footage regarding him but i just I, i've always loved his nickname and he's always been one of my favorite players historically just because of his nickname i'm talking about earl the pearl you know what I'm saying earl the pearl monroe so we're gonna be reacting to some of his highlights i think i got about like a 14 15 minute video of his highlights that i'm gonna be reacting to and yeah that's pretty much it right real quick let me take my vitamins and then let's you know saying let's watch it real quick all right now that i got that out the way let's get right into this i was gonna say we gonna need some sound my boy Okay, Earl. They're gonna have a lot more um uh because I think he played in like uh the seventies, right? I'm, maybe even the sixties, either the sixties or seventies. They're gonna have a lot more slow pace, you know, ball. If you was looking for crossovers and stuff, this probably isn't gonna be the highlight tape for that, you know. Um I'ma just keep it real. I just wanna know what kind of stuff he has kind of ahead of his game. Alright, this shit just too slow for me, bro. I gotta check if the other highlight mix is better, bro. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, Earl. We're not doing this shit. All right, this seems a lot better. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. This is a real mix. Okay. He was not doing this in the other video. I know I could be tripping, but I can almost see how, like, this progressed into Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can almost see it, you know? That's crazy. Wow. This is all stuff Kyrie does, just... It's literally second nature to him. It's like walking. Earl the Pearl. Oh my God. I mean that second championship and everything like that. But I'm talking about when he was with the Bullets down Winston Salem Stadium before that game. 42 points a game the whole season. 41.6. Whole season. He had a God damn. This man is different. Oh my god! See, this is what I mean by being leagues ahead of the people that you're playing with. Did you not Oh, 
Let's keep it real. Oh my god. He turned around. He turned around. Nah, oh God, you know I'm, I'm gonna let this be a lesson to me. I can't pick no, you know, saying no mix unless they got the right music. You know, what I'm saying like it's gotta have the right music to match it, bro. Quit playing with me. He, was, you know, he was the first one to do it behind the back. You know that? He invented it right there. He invented that shit right there. I wonder who taught this man, bro. I really do. I wonder who the hell taught him or if he just learned this shit. So, like, we know who taught these players now. We know that shit. Bro. Who taught this man? Not the Nolo dish off. Not the Nolo dish off. Not the Nolo dish off. Oh boy. Then he play with the uh, Walt Frazier. He's definitely one of my favorite players. Let's keep it real. See, I'm glad I did this. He smooth just skyrocketed up the list of my favorite players. He just skyrocketed. Like, he is so damn cool. Oh, shit. Spin shots in 1925. Layup in 1943. Invented that shit right there on the spot. Game winner. Oh my god, bro. Earl. Oh. Yeah, you tell your Frazier. Man, what? New York basketball was probably insane at that time. Now you got Julius Randle. Don't be topping. Hopefully Obi Toppin is nice, bro. Here's shooting. Bro, he's so fucking cool. Give me that shit! Was that Jay West? How fly you are, bro. Oh my god. Don't do that shit. Hey, good shit, Fetterman. That was a good video. Shout out to you. Let me hit you with that definite like. You know, you went crazy on that joint. Let's keep it real. That was a much better mix than the first one. I'll probably just cut a good portion of the first one out because like I don't even know why I waste my time watching that. But that was Earl to Pearl Monroe. I wish there was a longer, I like I like longer length videos, like 10 minutes would be what I'm looking for, but this one was just, it was ass, I'm gonna keep it real. It wasn't ass, I'm lying. It didn't have, it didn't have the right music, and it didn't have, it didn't have a good pacing, um, it didn't have enough sound, 
and he wasn't doing a lot of flashy stuff. Like what? He he. I thought I was gonna say I thought Earl was known for being flashy ahead of the curve, right? So I'm like, there was nothing flashy there. Maybe I was tripping, but he wasn't doing no flashy stuff. So I wasn't a big fan. It's not like I dis dislike it. It's just I didn't think it was that great. But this one right here, this was nice. This was nice. But I, if I, if I can get a 10 minute video next time, that's probably what I'll aim for. This is what I was talking about, where it says I'll just watch this one out. Best guy you played against on the playground. Jeez. Um, Earl Manuel. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, New York played Philly, and the Baker League played the Rucker. So uh, I played on the New York team. This is between my senior year in high school and my first year at UCLA. So is Earl with the Bullets then? Er uh, yeah. He, or is he in college at Winston-Salem? He, he was in college at Winston-Salem. Okay. But he played in the Baker League for the summer, so the Baker League All Stars played the Rucker All Stars. So, and, and I didn't know who he was, and he had his own cheering section. <laughs> he came out, and there were people running around talking about Jesus, Jesus, and I'm like, wait, wait a he was the first black Jesus he, that I know of. <laughs> so he comes out, and he has on a white low cut and a black high top, <laughs> and he's um, so fly. The game starts, and the, I, I didn't start the game. But the game starts, and he's doing all this weird stuff with the ball. He hasn't even cro crossed half court. And then he jumps up in the air and throws a, a pass with top spin. It goes three-quarters of the court, hits the ground, and catches somebody in, in stride that catches it and lays it up. I was like, oh. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have a game today, you yeah. know? <laughs> Yeah, man. That seems like the dude, bro. Wish I could have watched him. I'm glad I chose Earl Pearl. You know, the first highlight video I made it seem like it wasn't going to be, you know, he wasn't going to be the truth like, like like they say. But the second one confirmed it. I like Earl. He's definitely going on my list of favorite players. I should probably actually make a list of favorite players. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably something around um, uh, Paul George definitely is number one. I like Michael Porter Jr., but he'd be, he, he be injured. Okay, here's the thing about me. <laughs> Let me just get this out of the way now. I like players that be between 6'7 and 6'11 and know how to dribble, shoot, and shot create and play defense. Now, they don't actually have to be able to play defense, but it's a lot better if they can. So yeah, I like, you know, Michael Porter Jr. I like Jalen Brown. I like, um, I like Jason Tatum, but I like Jalen Brown a lot more than Tatum because he plays defense. Uh, and I just think he's more creative with it. But yeah, let me just stop rambling on. Uh, I'm going to be back for the next time where I do more videos on someone else. Let me know if there's anyone you want to watch specifically. I don't have anyone specifically that I want to watch. Um, I'll just probably think of someone like and watch them because there's, there's a lot of good players in history, right? So, we'll leave it there. Hopefully, there's good mixes out. And yeah. Anyway.